So today, uh, in this new video, we are going to show you how to calibrate the wheel balancer Oro Tool 800. The wheel balancer that is hand spin is more or less nothing inside. All the movement on the wheel has to be done by your hand. Um, the first thing is to put information about this wheel on this balancer. So you have to introduce the three measurements. This one, the separation is 4.5, the uh, width is 7 inches, and the diameter is 16 inches. Um, so you are ready to balance him, but in this case, in this case we are going to uh, make the calibration. For the calibration, you will need the 100 grams or 3.5 ounces. 100 grams is the same than 3.5. When the wheel balancer is asking you 3.5 ounces, you have the 100 grams, which is exactly the same. You can use this one or any other wheel weight that is 3.5 ounces. Okay, so let's start the calibration. The first thing is to press F as function and C as a calibration at the same time. So start the calibration process. The first, after you do that, is to make the first pin. So I move the first pin. Okay, it's running. The first time, okay, you make the first pin, stop it, and then make the second spin. Now it's giving you the information to add 350 outside, where it has to be when all the lights are on, all lights on, 350 outside at 12 o'clock. Okay, now second spin. So the second spin, as well as the last time, you do it. Now, I have to make 350, but inside. It might be that in this time, it's asking you for a second spin. Don't worry about it. If asking you for a second spin or simply doesn't give you this information means that you didn't spin as fast as the calibration process required. So you, you have to make a second spin. In this case, I am spinning well fast, so it's fast enough to ask me to install now the 350 ounces inside. Remember what you have to do. You have to take, first of all, the 3.5 that you installed outside, take it out, and then check the inside where you have to install it. It's asking you 3.5, the same of 100 grams, at 12 o'clock inside. Do it. After that, spin it again. If it's not fast enough, it's not giving you the answer, you press the pedal, and the second time, you can do it. Now calibration ends. That means that you finish the process of calibration. At this time, remove the wheel weight of 100 grams from the inside and your wheel balancer is ready to work. Thank you for your attention.